All right, Lumberjacks, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put light bars and strobes on your vehicles for FS22. Now, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and find whatever vehicle you want to put the light bars on. And then you need to download the light bars and strobes prefab, which can be found on ModHub. I will also put it down in the description. I'll put a link for you guys. So once you've got your vehicle and the light bars and strobes prefab, you want to go ahead and put those into a folder or somewhere that's easily accessible on your desktop, somewhere where you can find them. So once you've done that, uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and unzip both of these files right here. So extract all, and I'm going to have it I'm going to have it extract to this folder right here. I'm going to do the same thing for the light bars and strips refab. So extract all. So now what you need to do is go ahead and open up this folder right here. We're going to open up the i3d. All right, so let's go ahead and move these apart so that way you guys can see what this is. All right, so as you can tell, we have a couple different options to choose from. We've got a small light bar, medium, large, and we've got two, I guess they would be like light bars that you could put like in the grill or on the body of the vehicle. But what we're going to focus on today is this light bar right here. So this is going to be the light bar 1200. So go ahead and select it over in the scenograph, which should highlight that. And then you're going to come up here to file, export selection with files. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find that folder that you unzipped those two mods into. Then you're going to find the vehicle file folder. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and give a name for this. So we're just going to call it light bar and it should save as an I3D. So save. And then it's going to ask you if you want to get the parent directory structure. You're going to click yes. And you want to keep the game relative path. So yes. Go ahead and minimize that. Now we're going to take a look at the truck. So same thing. We're going to click on the file folder and we're going to open up the i3d file for the Ford. All right. So the first thing I recommend doing is coming up here to create make a new camera and then go ahead and switch to that camera. Um, the reason I say this is because you don't really want to mess with any of these other cameras because from how I understand it, um, messing with them can mess a lot of things up. So I generally just make my own camera. Some mods will have a edit camera already, but I just go ahead and make my own. That way I am not messing up the other camera. So as you can see, we have our Ford here. And I always like to make sure that there's not something hidden right here because this is where we're gonna where we're gonna be putting the light bar. And it doesn't look like there is. So let's go ahead and bring that light bar into this. So we're gonna click file import the so light bar open. Okay, and as you can tell, our light bar is now here. Now, what I recommend doing is actually moving this light bar into this group right here. So control X, and then we're gonna control V. So now this is part of this group and it's not by itself. So let's go ahead and move this into position. So we've got it in a spot that we are happy with. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and open this up because we will need to refer to this transform group as well as this transform group here in a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the XML for the Ford. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to lights. There should be a light section in here somewhere. A lot of different options for wheels for this, I see. OK, 
Okay, so where are the attacher joints? Lights should, yep, yeah, here we go. So you're gonna be looking for lights. And then what you're gonna wanna do, once you find that section is go ahead and open up the XML for the lights and strobes prefab, which is gonna be this one right here, light bar 1200. Okay. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this information right here and you're gonna paste it into the correct section. So default lights, these two would go into the default light section in the XML. And then beacon lights, we actually need to check and see if there's already a section for beacon lights, which there is not. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just copy this whole, we're gonna just go ahead and copy this whole thing. And we're gonna put it right below brake lights there we go. All right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and copy these lines right here for the i3D mapping. And those are generally at the bottom. There they are. So we're just gonna paste them in right there. Oh, I did not copy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and Paste those in right there. Perfect. Okay, so at this point, all the information that we need is now put into the vehicle XML. So go ahead and save. And then let's hop back over to the Giants Editor and let's bring this up. All right, so now what we need to do, we need to put these numbers right here in the corresponding line. So uh, first up, we got real lights left. 1200 so let's go ahead and copy that and then we're going to go to our xml and we got it left so we just need to replace that and then real lights right same thing copy it and for the static group first up we have static break left control c right is going to be Static break right. And actually what you can do to kind of speed this up a little bit is go ahead and replace all of this. So what you're going to see is as we're going down this path, only this number right here is changing. So this should be one, two, three, four, five. So we can come back over here and we can just change one number. Five, there we go. All right, so let's come back over. Let's go ahead and save. All right, and then we're gonna come back here, collapse all, and we're gonna switch back to the outdoor camera. And we're gonna delete the camera we put in and save now before you save and delete the camera if you want to make any last minute changes that's fine if you're happy with the way it looks go ahead and go back to the outdoor camera and then delete the one you've made and don't forget to save so we're going to exit all that we save that all right so now what we need to do is go ahead and zip this back up so in order to do that, you're going to click on the file folder, select all, and you're going to send that to a zipped folder. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can use 7-zip or you can do it the way I do it. It really doesn't matter. And then we're going to rename it. Now you could rename this whatever you want as long as it's this format. So if you want to put 1972 F-150 underscore strobes, you could or you can just leave it how it is. So now, if we pop this into our mods folder and load the game up, we should have a working 1972 
with working strobes and I'm actually going to go ahead and throw a couple other vehicles that I added lights to. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the truck that we just put the light bar on. So we're going to hop in and there we go. Working light bar and if we start the engine up we can see that the brake lights work. We've got turn signals as well as four ways. So everything is working as it should. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I will see you guys in the next video.